All right, we're going to install this guard. I had a guard on my 09 GSA. Um, it mounted up to the exhaust headers, and I believe at the top it mounted up to the crash bars. Um, because I'm going to do an alt rider skid plate, which could be any day now, and eventually alt rider crash bars, uh, I decided to go ahead and grab the black cover as well. It's um, it's pull off, so it, it works with rubber grommets. So you you mount it up to the front screws that hold the front of your engine uh, casing in, and then you use the rubber grommets uh, to push it the the peat plate onto the included screws. And you can pull it off for easy cleaning if you wanted to, which is nice. So uh, I think it's four screws total. And it's really important when you need a T30 for this, by the way. They mentioned the instructions, you have to do it. Um, take one out, put the next one in. Don't take all four out of your engine and then put in because you're gonna have some issues with leaks and other things. Obviously your engine should be cold when you're doing this. But you'll see here that uh, in the instructions, um, it says to do them uh, one at a time. Don't do not do them all you know, at the same time. And then you're installing the rubber grommets inside of this plate here, and then you just push it right onto the engine. Let's get the rubber grommets installed. So here's the plate right here. I'm just going to take this guy here and push it right through. and repeat that on uh, all four of these holes. Okay, all four rubber pieces are installed. Let's go ahead and head over to the engine. Okay, so we're going to remove these two. So we're doing this one at a time here. Then it says to hand mount these You know, to be honest, they actually mount. You look at these from a side profile. They don't go out that much further than the actual engine itself. I was worried about them, the uh, mounting plate clipping the fender. But I don't think it's going to be an issue with this. Rubber grommets installed. I'm just gonna pop this right there. They mentioned in the instructions if you don't want to scratch your headers, then uh, wrap them with masking tape. I don't really see a big deal with that. All right, other side. Came off on the other side though, which is interesting. Maybe you kind of have to push them all together at the same time. Okay, so I bent the, the stainless steel top back a little bit. Let's see if this can work this time. So I want you guys to see what's going on here. So it's on now. Oh no, it's not. This is back off on the bottom. 
All right. This doesn't work. All right, so against the instructions, I've decided to loosen up all four of these just slightly, so they're not locked out completely. It gives me a couple of hairs away from the body of the bike, and I'm gonna try to push this guy back on and see if it works. Okay, so I managed to get it on all four there, but you can see how these two are clipped pretty well, and that one's not clipped as far deep as it should go. Okay. I'm going to try to tighten these up one by one, and hopefully it'll all work out for me. Well, it's on there now, but I'm not really happy with the fitment. So I had to bend both of these plates backwards, and now they have kind of a, a rattle. It's supposed to be flush. And then I also bent back the top tab on the left and the bottom tab on the right. Well, passenger, driver, um, facing forward. And now it's fitting, but you can see it's about to pop off at any second. If I push on here, it's a little bit. That one's about to pop off. So, vibration situations. So, I'm gonna see what Altrider says. I already emailed him about it, but for now, it looks fantastic. Um, I'm just a little concerned that it's gonna rattle, vibrate off, and then I'll get to my destination one day and look down and it'll be gone. So, there we go. Okay, guys, so we're into the bike right now. Um, that water is condensation because we're in the house. Uh, don't ask. So, what I did was I bent, um, I bent this bottom piece in a little bit with a set of pliers. You can see there I was bent in the back. Sorry, all rider, but look, it's actually on the thing now. And then on the other side, we bent the top one in a little bit. So now they both just a little rattling up here, but uh, it definitely fits a lot better now. I think I'd like some fresh rubber pieces, you know, either for free from Altrider, or honestly, I'll just buy them um, just to do a fresh install, because I've definitely worn the crap out of these things. I'm pulling on and off and keep bending it, but it finally is fitting on the way. It just, I just feel like it's one of those pieces that I'm going to get to where I'm going one day and look down and it'll be gone, and oh well, but anyway, this is, uh, this is it for now, but it does fit. I think, I think, it'll, I think it'll treat me pretty well, at least for a a good looking piece that sits in front of the bike. All right, thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a nice day.